Hi guys, well this is a tutorial quest that Miss V made and basically she wanted to know how you can overlay an image or in this case a blue cup um, over a, a video track in uh, Sony Vegas. So basically uh, the image you're going to need has to be on a transparent background. Now most uh, image editing applications like I don't know, uh, Photoshop, GIMP uh, will allow you to put an image on a transparent background. Uh, in this case, a blue cup. If you haven't got this image, um, I'm going to provide this image uh, underneath this video. Uh, you can just download it and use it. So basically, here I'm in uh, Sony Vegas, and the first thing I'm going to do is <coughs> drop a video into a video track. So I'm going to click on my video clips. I'm just going to drop my uh, any video. This one is. Uh, Gordon Ramsay's video that I did. So I'm going to drop this in video track 3 here by default. You see here um, video track 3, okay? And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to overlay my cup image on top of the video. So I'm going to put this in video track 2. I could also put this in video track 1 but in Sony Vegas by default the, the video overlay track is video track 2 which is this one here. So I'm now going to go to my uh, images uh, folder. There's my blue cup image. I'm going to drag it on top, just like that. And as you can see, as soon as I do that, the image appears uh, over the video. If I want to uh, make sure it uh, lasts the whole duration of the video, I just hover the cursor over the right hand side and then just drag it out to the end of the video. So now the video, uh, the cup is actually the full duration um, of the video, as you can see just like that. Okay, now if I wanted to animate this cup, what I do is, uh, it's too big so I'll say I want to make it smaller, I come to my video overlay track, which is video track 2, and then I click on the track motion button, which is this button here. I click on that and I get the track motion dialog box. <coughs> and this dialog box is really simple. Basically you have a square, and this allows me to uh, resize the image, so if I hover my cursor over any point of the square here, any uh, same something like that. I can drag in and I can make the cup smaller or I can drag out and I can make the cup bigger. As you can see as I drag it in out here, the cup goes larger or smaller on the video section here. Uh, you have an inner ring here which if I click on it I can actually move the cup around on the X and Y axis, so up and down, left and right. And on the outer ring, if I hover my cursor, I can actually rotate the cup so I can rotate it left, right, 180 degrees, whatever I want to do. I can also reset anything I've done. So say I didn't want it, I wanted to go back to the way it was at the beginning. I can right click and select restore box, and it's back to the way it was when I first uh, put the image on. Okay. I can also animate this cup. So I can I got a little sort of mini timeline here. So if I can drag, I can drag it right to the beginning of my uh, video clip and I can make the cup smaller there and then I can drag it to the middle of my video clip say and then I can make the cup bigger like that so now what I've got going is a small to large animation so at the beginning it's small and as the video clip plays it, the cup grows larger I can also rotate it so I can sort of go there and rotate it upside down something like that and then I can come across there like that. So now it's actually rotating as it's growing in size as well, as you can see. So you know, mess around with the keyframing here. You can make the you can. Uh, I'm sure Heather knows about keyframing because she's done a lot of animations in her in her videos as well. It's a pretty simple concept. And uh, I can actually move it, so I can move it up there. Uh, that point there, I can move it. So you can do all sorts of animation with it, you know. So now it's rotating, growing in size and moving as well. Uh, if you want the cup to be a bit transparent, that is to show the um, video clip underneath through, what you can do is uh, click on the video overlay track, drag your cursor to the top of the video overlay track like that, and an opacity slider uh, comes up. It's like a little hand cursor. And if you click and drag down, you can see that the cup is now going sort of uh, semi transparent like a logo would be in the in the bottom right hand corner here so 
uh, I can drag it up to make it uh, fully, visi fully vi visible and I can drag it down to make it a bit transparent like that. So be aware that you can actually do that as well. So that's the basics of uh, overlaying a graphic, animating it and uh, adjusting the opacity. I hope this has helped. Bye bye for now.